shut up and pin lipstick on. And did who, I, who did mommy's makeup? Me. Give me a slow blink. <laughs> Why are you laughing? How are you going to eat that? I've never made it up those steps before. So, I'm on TikTok, and there's like this entrepreneur, like motivational speaker-like guy, and he's like, he's, he's doing his shtick. And what he talked about hit home so hard for me, I'm gonna try and paraphrase. Having the power in life to say no when people ask for your time. Basically, it's like when someone asks you to do something that you don't have to do, like you have to work, you have to spend time there, you don't have to do, but they want you to do it, but you don't want to do it. It's okay to say no. Because when you say yes, it's an hour. And then if you say yes a couple times a week, it's several hours. And then that adds up and that adds up and, that, and it accumulates. And there's a price to pay for that cumulative, like giving away your time. As a person who lives with a wife and a baby, how do you possibly get <laughs> free time? Like, where do you find time for yourself? How do you not go crazy? Well, I go surfing with you and uh, no I mean yeah I'm constantly interrupted it's 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 so annoying because at the end of the day you know you you get in a zone you need to have a flow whether it's creative whether you're writing something or you're talking to someone it's a train of thought or a certain flow and it's interrupted and you're like okay now you have to get back into that space right and right It's just funny that you are asking me this question. You are the <laughs> biggest. The you're the biggest time suck on my life. But okay. It's like your life is a duffel bag, right? But it, it's it's a tight duffel. It's like a hard shell duffel bag. It's not like an expanding duffel bag, right? So you can only put so many things in there before it's totally packed full. And of course, there's certain things that take priority, right? Like your family, whatever they need, that. They, they get, you know, your extended family. But then there's like kind of the friends and acquaintance section of your life. And this is the part that can really expand or contract. The, the point is, if you want to be a really good friend, you don't have to say yes to everything your friends ask of you. You just need to be there when it matters. Wait, that's a perfect, say that again. If you want to be a really good friend to someone, you don't have to do everything they ask you to do. You just need to be there when it matters. Yes. So a, a motivational speaker on TikTok and like the advice of um, friends that I trust and I really appreciate, but I, I still struggle to find a balance between like my external responsibilities, like, the, like paying bills and work and family and stuff like that, and then the internal, like making time for yourself and doing it in a way where you don't feel guilty about it. I know the value, I know the importance of this, but finding that balance, I think, is one of the things that's been extremely difficult for me as, as I've gotten older. 
Last night, Candace dressed up like a ghost, drank some vodka, and walked around the neighborhood scaring people. Where's my cocktail? <laughs> <laughs>